Wow. Wow. I mean, what, what can you really say about the news this morning? Obviously, everyone is buzzing about it. Everyone is talking about it. It's arguably one of the biggest video gaming stories of all time, potentially, and it's happened within the month of January. But Xbox, Microsoft has just made an insane purchase that's really going to change the video game landscape going forward by purchasing Activision slash Blizzard. And there's a lot of fallout from this. There's a lot of things to discuss with this. It's absolutely insane that this has happened, but it, it has indeed happened. This sounds like something that somebody would just make up as a rumor and everyone would be like, oh, you know, there's no chance of that happening. And then here we are. Here we are with Microsoft Xbox purchasing Activision Blizzard. So we're going to go over the details today, sort of what to expect, what the fallout from this is going to be, and how it shapes the video game landscape in the future. Because like I said, there's a ton of stuff to go over here. If this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. Without any further ado, let's just jump right into this. So this was announced this morning that by Phil Spencer saying that Activision and Blizzard is coming to Microsoft Gaming. Now, there's a lot of sort of business end store... Uh, uh, stuff with this so we're going to talk about that very briefly you know just the back end stuff how it's going to impact money how much microsoft spent on it because i mean it obviously wasn't a very cheap investment you know it's not like you you get this company for very cheap it was 68.7 billion dollars 68.7 billion dollars now of course one of the main things about this is that Bobby Kotick will be a part of this merger. Now, people are going to freak out about this because, I mean, that's just how the internet is. They, they don't understand how, how business and shareholders and companies with shareholders work. They're just, you know, saying random stuff to just get their likes and their retweets to look like they're helping, but they're not really doing a damn thing. But Bobby Kotick is a part of this deal. Now, more than likely, once the ink dries on everything, they're going to give him a contract. They'll probably buy him out, and then he will be setting off on his merry way. But I do find it ironic that a lot of people who are, you know, talking so negatively about Activision and Blizzard, I'm never supporting their products, I'm never talking about their products ever again, are now once again talking about it, which is why I took a completely different stance on that, because... I don't really care about Twitter likes and retweets and stuff like that. I'm not here to champion that I'm a good person because I don't like Activision. Like, there's scumbags at every video game company. It's something that's rampant without the industry. But yes, this merger costs $68.7 billion, making it just an, an, an absolutely insane acquisition. Now, what does this mean? What companies are actually involved with this merger? Well, it's everyone under the Activision and Blizzard bundle. So you have Activision, Blizzard. Blizzard, Beanox, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, Major League Gaming, Radical Entertainment, Ravensoft, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bobs, Treyarch, and more teams involved. So aside from your heavy hitters like your Call of Duties and your Diablos and stuff, probably some of the first games that spring to mind with this, you got to remember, Microsoft now owns Spyro the Dragon. Microsoft now owns the Tony Hawk lineup of games, which is definitely seeing a resurgence. Microsoft owns what was arguably Sony's first mascot with Crash Bandicoot. And that, man, that that's kind of a very interesting thing to me because you know back in the day it was like sonic the hedgehog for sega it was mario for nintendo and it was crash bandicoot for sony look at those old ads come here plumber boy like sony was taking shots at nintendo with crash bandicoot now of course as time has gone on they've sort of reshifted their focus i guess kratos is like now their mascot or something like that but this is a, a very a very iconic thing now what does this mean going forward well i think it means a lot of things because obviously every activision and blizzard game is now going to be coming to game pass on day one much like we saw when bethesda was gotten and purchased by microsoft the back catalog of games is obviously going to be available on game pass as well because i mean it wasn't just like bethesda put new games on game pass they put their back catalog of stuff on there and you could play pretty much everything thing that they've released in the past decade plus on game pass so that's really going to bolster game pass's library with things like the crash bandicoot games the spyro games the tony hawk games even of course the call of duty games that's going to be very interesting because when you look at the npd sales the best-selling game on playstation consoles last year was call of duty 
like for all the outrage for all the nonsense we hate activision people still went out and bought call of duty at record-breaking numbers now yes the game might not have been all that good but that just goes to show you sort of the disconnect between the twitter world and the real world because in the real world people are just going to do sort of whatever they want to do and they don't need to do things for the admiration of fellow twitter users and things of that nature now how does this impact nintendo and of course sony because i mean when you're buying one of the largest companies in the world obviously a company that sells usually best on playstation how is this going to impact the business relationships because there's activision games on of course playstation platforms and of course you see activision games on nintendo platforms and blizzard games on nintendo platforms with things like crash bandicoot tony hawk diablo well microsoft did say that uh, activision blizzard is going to work as a separate entity so much like they're doing with bethesda they're going to be allowed to do their own thing but that really is makes things very interesting for the future because could you imagine like the new call of duty game coming out on the xbox before it comes out on the playstation like how is the business end of this going to work as far as releasing games are concerned because right now microsoft owns what sold best on playstation systems in 2021 according to the mpd charts and so at least in the united states so th that's that's a huge thing that's absolutely massive that microsoft made this acquisition obviously there's going to be changes within the company obviously bobby kotick is going to be gone probably sooner rather than later i'm sure they are trying to get him out as humanly as soon as humanly possible but it, it's just it's absolutely insane and it really shows you you know how microsoft is really approaching this generation they're, they're not pulling any punches here they're not they're not they're doing what they want to do they're doing what they set out to do is to get people to play their games no matter what platform they own and they're really driving this point home so much in fact to the point of where i think these other companies companies like um uh, sony and companies like nintendo have to take notice to this because microsoft allegedly wants game pass available on those platforms now if they were to get game pass on those platforms i think the whole video game landscape would change i think a lot of companies would probably go out of business i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that because while we hear that game pass is very sustainable we've never actually seen any concrete numbers for it obviously a lot of companies get paid to put their game on game pass but i really feel like it would it would change the absolute landscape of gaming and just become almost like a monopoly if you think about it as far as how you end up getting your games because obviously people are going to want to go towards game pass but that's definitely something to just look at in the future that's sort of a worst case scenario i feel i'm not going to doom and gloom this and say oh that's exactly what's going to happen that's what microsoft wants to do they want to make it so there's only one place that you get your games and that's where you get your games so they always see money from it but i mean at the end of the day microsoft is a business Microsoft is a business company. Microsoft is in the business of making money. These companies ain't your friend, homie. These companies don't have your back. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but you know, these companies, they, they look out for number one. They look out for their bottom line. They look out for their shareholders. They look out for making the most money. And this is obviously a, a massive, massive acquisition. Call of Duty is now owned by Xbox. Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, Tony Hawk, Diablo, StarCraft, all owned by Xbox and Microsoft right now. So, man, man, Overwatch, Overwatch, isn't that so big? Hearthstone, like, holy shit, man, this is absolutely, this is absolutely nuts. And I honestly don't know what to say sort of beyond the main news story portion of it because a lot of it remains to be seen but just judging how we saw microsoft handle bethesda and how they handled it on their own console when it came to things like game pass and upcoming releases i mean starfield is a, is a microsoft exclusive game that's not coming to playstation at least anytime soon probably you know if it ever does it would be a year down the road or something like that so are we going to see that with microsoft and activision games and blizzard games where they come first to the xbox and maybe never even come to other consoles it'll it's gonna be a wild ride i feel but i just wanted to give you guys this information this is pretty early breaking stuff let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this activision purchase by microsoft is this a good move is this a bad move how is it going to change the video game landscape 
because I, I I think it's going to be very interesting to see the fallout from this. No Bethesda pun intended. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.